Today I'm going to show you guys how to do the Scottish roll wicking technique. The first guy I saw do this on YouTube is a guy by the name of Chase Banana. I think he's a Scot. Thank you, laddie. And if he's not a Scot, then FML. Ooh, so I think it's about that time we dive down. I'll show you how to do this Scottish roll wicking technique. Vapor on it a little bit. Talk about some of the pros and cons and we'll wrap it up. So the first thing you are going to need is 100% pure cotton pads. In this case, this is Kogen Do Organic Japanese Cotton Pads. 60 pads came with this box for about 10 bucks. Now that's a pretty good deal, but there are better deals out there. In the description, I'll post a link to better deals, multiple links, where you can get more pads for a cheaper price. Next step, you're going to want to take one pad, one sandwich pad, and these are the Kogan Do pads, like I mentioned, but the measurements for these pads are about 50 millimeters by about 60 millimeters. Next step, what you're going to do is peel the top layer off, just the top skin. Leave as much excess cotton on there. I kind of pull it down with my thumb. Okay, there's a top layer. We don't need that. And that right there, boys and girls, is what we are left with. Now from there, you're gonna wanna stretch it this way. Not this way, but this way. Just pull it out gently. And also evenly. Just like that. So in my experiences, how much you use of this piece depends on how large your wraps are. For example, today's build is going to be a 1 8 inch, dual 1 8 inch wrap. So we're gonna cut this down just a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut about two inches off this piece. But that being said, each pad is different, it's size different. Some are thicker, some are thinner. You're just gonna have to gauge it. It's trial and error. But you know what, before I cut the two inches off, I'm gonna go ahead and pull these ends off because they're kind of bunched up on the ends. Again, this is the way I do it. You may do it differently and that's okay. It's whatever works for you. And another good thing about this, when you pull these pieces off, you can use them for other wicks in the future. I'm going to go with this right here. Again, guys, this is trial and error. Now, what I do from there is I just pull it out, fluff it out even more. The more fluffed out it is, the better it's going to be, guys. You don't want to bunch it up in different places. All right, so it looks pretty long, and it is pretty long. It's pulled out, it's fluffed out. You can almost see through it. We're gonna pull it apart to where you have two equal pieces, two pieces that are about the same size. About right there. Now for this first wick, what we're gonna wanna do is fold it up. Start folding it up on the end. You don't wanna fold it up too tight, but you don't wanna fold it up too loose. All right, so one down, one to go. Do the exact same process for the other one. For the first roll, what we're going to want to do is twist one end as tight as possible. Just like that. So when you install it into this coil, you want to go into the direction that you centered the coil. And it's going to be a tight fit. And that's the point of this. Other coil. Again, go with the direction that you centered it. Alright, so the next step, we're going to go ahead and clip the tails, the cotton tails. That all depends on the device you're using, how long you want your tails to be. This is not like an exact science, okay? This is an art, and this is your art. Each length that you cut the tail is going to be different depending on the device you're using. But I'm going to clip it about right here. Next step, I'm going to fluff the tails. Just poke the end. I do it with my scissors. Fluff those tails out. In my experience, the fluffier the tails, the better the vape experience, okay? Because it allows the juice to really soak up when you drip on there, when you paint on there. Now, the next step is tucking. You don't want to tuck it too tight. It's just got to be just right. Now, I'm going to do the same thing for the other three tails. Got to be gentle. Now it's time to juice her up. And today the juice that I'm going to be using is my personal favorite from the Fog Sauce line, Trophy Wife. Oh boy, I can smell this juice right now. I can't wait just to, ooh, vapor, because she smells good like pecan pie. All I'm going to do from there is make sure that the airflow is completely freed up from the wick. I'm looking good. 
Alrighty, so I brightened up the exposure so you can see what she looks like. I mean, she's a beaut, man. She holds a ton of juice and the airflow is completely open on both sides. Now I posted a picture of this on Instagram and people were like, how the hell are you going to get the top cap on? Well, you can do it. Watch this. I put the cap on, but it slides right over and you're rocking, baby. Rocking and rolling. So that, boys and girls, is how to do the Scottish roll wicking technique. Let's go ahead and take her back to FaceTime. And we're back. So what I went ahead and did was I juiced her up. Now I'm going to go ahead and vapor till she goes completely dry. Oh yeah, I'm with this .20 ohm build sitting in this Kennedy 22, sitting on top of this Vapor Shark DNA 200. I'm vaping her at 65 watts. Make sure you keep count. Starting to feel it right there. Starting to get a little bit dry on me. It's not burnt in any way though. I mean, she sucked the juice right out, or I did. <laughs> Pro number one, you can take hit after hit after hit after hit and get full on flavor before it goes dry. Hell, what was it like? Damn near 30 hits I just took? Crazy! But it's cool. Second pro, because there's multiple layers of cotton rolled up and then stuffed into your coil, it is going to last a hell of a lot longer than your average just wicking technique. I mean, I could go a week with this wicking technique versus a regular wicking technique, which is usually lasts me two to three days. Third pro, because you have multiple layers of cotton rolled up and then stuffed into your coil, it is going to soak up more juice. And because it's going to soak up more juice you're gonna get more vapor production one and you're gonna get more flavor the only con i found for this wicking technique is you are going to go through a hell of a lot more cotton than just your regular wicking technique the good news is is i have links in the description where you could go get these sheets of cotton organic cotton organic japanese cotton for cheap check out those links in the description to save you some money so i hope that helps that is how to do the scottish roll wicking technique this is Rip Trippers, and remember, smoking is dead, vaping is the future, and the future is now.